Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Lizon, helping you live naturally in an unnatural world. Who are you? I'm you 20 years ago. What are you doing here? I'm here to fix your mistakes and make sure that you share with people all the vital health research out there that shows why people over 50 need to be using oh, infrared sauna. Okay, that makes sense. Today I'm speaking to you about arthritis and what I wish I'd known 20 years ago when it comes to saunas now that I'm over 50. First, what I want to do is explain the statistics, then I want to explain how it works, and then I want to give you some of the evidence to support what I'm saying so you can better understand why you might want to use a near-infrared sauna. Did you know that 3.9 million Australians suffer from arthritis? That's one in six of us. By 2030, it's projected that 5.4 million of us will struggle with arthritis. Arthritis is the leading cause of chronic pain, the leading cause of chronic pain, and the second most common cause of disability and early retirement when it comes to Australians. Let's just say that it's a big, big deal. And if you have arthritis, this is something that you need to know about. On the screen here, you can see a knee. It's a great example to talk about arthritis. When it comes to near-infrared saunas, it works on arthritis in two distinct ways. One is with the benefit of heat, and the second way is with the benefits of what's called photobiomodulation, or PBM for short, and that's the application of red and near-infrared light. That is probably the bigger, more beneficial way the near-infrared saunas can help you with your arthritis. So first, let's go through the heat and the benefits that the heat brings. The heat works in a couple of ways. Number one is by detoxifying the body. The more you detoxify the body, the less likely there's going to be inflammation and all the sort of pain that goes along with that. The second way that it works is it reduces pain. The third way it works is it increases circulation. And the fourth way it works is it relaxes you. The more you relax, the more you've warmed up with increased circulation, the better you're going to feel. So the heat generally has short-term, but also some longer-term benefits. The photobiomodulation benefits are significant. In brief, it increases your ATP production, which is energy. I've done a video, part one in this series, on energy production. Go back and have a look at that. It is a massive anti-inflammatory. I've done another video online about how near-infrared light rivals or is better than the classic NSAID anti-inflammatory drugs. I'm going to put a link on the screen if this is on YouTube. Otherwise, you can go on to um, some of my other sites and look for that particular video. So inflammation control is another big one. And the third big way that it works is by decreasing pain. Now let's look at this just a little bit closer. When you shine the near-infrared light on the knee, for example, you're going to have an anti-inflammatory effect, which is great, but you're also going to have this healing effect, the benefit of the increased ATP in the wound healing. And it works in multiple ways, which is unique to this type of therapy. It will actually work on improving the bone health. It'll improve the cartilage health. It'll improve the meniscus. It'll work on the tendons. It has a way of repairing and rebuilding all of those tissues all at once in slightly different ways, but it is a concurrent approach. And that's what makes this so great, is that it's not like you're doing an anti-inflammatory and trying to do one thing. We're doing multiple things when it comes to using the photobiomodulation on the knee. And again, that's what makes this so beneficial. So what I'm going to do now is show you my screen so that I can give you the best evidence support what I'm saying. I understand that not everyone is going to believe what I say just because I'm saying it necessarily. So I want to show you the actual evidence in a summarized way and a simplified way so that you can then use that to your advantage. So I'm going to show you my screen and explain as I go. Here you can see a database of all the articles that have been done on osteoarthritis and arthritis in general. This database was put together by Vladimir, who I'd really like to thank for putting it together. It's a great effort. It makes things a lot easier. And I thought this would be the best way to try to summarize the massive amounts of research so you can see for yourself how beneficial this might be. 
So very briefly, you can see the year of the study and that it was on osteoarthritis on the left of the page. And on the far right where you see the green shaded areas, that indicates there was a positive result. Where you see the yellow areas, it's sort of an unclear or a modest result. And in the red is where it was a negative result. Now there is still a lot of argument and debate on what the best parameters for use of photobiomodulation are, and that can be one of the reasons why you don't see a result sometimes, or a red negative result. So just very quickly, if I scroll down, you can see year, well it's not even year after year, these are all 2020, now getting into 2019, mostly green positive results, all on osteoarthritis, and it just goes on and on and on. And there's other papers in here that are on rheumatoid arthritis, other forms of arthritis as well, but you can just see there is an awful lot of research going back now to 2014, virtually all green results. If you're not convinced that this, this works for osteoarthritis and arthritis in general, you're denying the database that exists out there. And a lot of this is done on human studies. Some of it's on animals, but they have your human random controlled studies, which you can see right smack dab in the middle here on that study done in 2014. So there you have the database on osteoarthritis. So there you have the benefits and the evidence behind photobiomodulation and why it helps with osteoarthritis. If you have health problems and you're over 50, a near infrared sauna is a little bit of a no brainer, especially when you consider all the other benefits that you get as well. You can go back and look at parts one, two, and three, energy, brain health, cardiovascular health. There's more coming on sleep. There's more coming on skin health. There's more coming on relaxation. But the benefits of a near-infrared sauna are many, and ideally you want to get one of these into your home. To learn more, to stay up to date on everything, click the subscribe button and the bell. If that's not your thing, you can head over to our learning center where you can take your time, go through the various videos or articles, learn as much as you can. And if you're still not sure, email us and we'll be sure to get back to you with any answers to the questions that you might have. So I'm Dr. Todd Lison. Until next time, keep well.